Good morning, friends. Thanks for joining me for morning prayer this morning. Today is Wednesday, December 9th, and we're going to be praying morning prayer together. Um, hope you have a prayer book handy. And if not, you can just follow along by listening. But I'm glad you could be here this morning. Hope you're doing well during this Advent. And your preparations for Christmas are going well. I know a lot of us are doing more online shopping and we're not doing the parties and all of the other things that um, we normally get to do. You know what I'll do? Come with me for a moment. I want to show you. Colin and I spent the evening last night putting up our Christmas tree. And um, it is, we got a live tree and it is taking up essentially our entire living room. I have a tiny little living room that I won't show you because it's completely messy at the moment, but we were able to decorate the tree. There it is. There's our little Christmas tree. And that little angel on top, let me see if I can zoom in there. She means a lot to me. Um, it goes back oh, a long time ago, 25 years ago or so, um, maybe even longer than that. I was waiting tables and couldn't afford much for Christmas decorations. And I found her in a Christmas shop for $6. And she was what I could afford. So every year when I put her on the tree, I remember that time. Anyway, um, hope you've been able to decorate your home in some way. And uh, let's start with some uh, prayer time together, shall we? So we are daily morning prayer, starting on page 75. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Good morning, Doris. Glad to see you. Um, our psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 38. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. For your arrows have already pierced me and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no soundness in my body because of my sin. For my iniquities overwhelm me like a heavy burden. They are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester by reason of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. I go about in the morning all day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed. I wail because of the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, you know all my desires and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding and my strength has failed me and the brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions draw, bra draw back from my affection and my neighbors stand afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me. Those who strive to hurt me speak of my ruin and plot treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and do not open their mouth. 
I have become like one who does not hear and from whose mouth comes no defense. For in you, O Lord, I have fixed my hope. You will answer me, O Lord, my God. For I said, do not let them rejoice at my expense, those who gloat over me when my foot slips. Truly, I am on the verge of falling and my pain is always with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies with, without cause are mighty and many in number are those who wrongfully hate me. Those who repay evil for good slander me because I follow the course that is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading this morning is from the sixth chapter of Isaiah. Chapter six, uh, the first 13 verses. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him, each had six wings. With two they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called out to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots on the threshold shook at the voices of those who called and the house filled with smoke. And I said, woe is me, I am lost. For I am a man of unclean lips and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed and your sin blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and say to this people, Keep listening, but do not comprehend. Keep looking, but do not understand. Make the mind of this people dull and stop their ears and shut their eyes so that they may not look with their eyes and listen with their ears and comprehend with their minds and turn and be healed. Then I said, How long, O Lord? And he said, Until cities lie waste without inhabitant and houses without people and the land is utterly desolate. Until the Lord sends everyone far away and vast is the emptiness in the midst of the land. Even if a tenth part remains in it, it will be burned again, like a terebinth or an oak whose stump remains standing when it is felled. The holy seed is its stump. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This morning we'll, um, we'll say Canticle 10. Uh, it's the second song of Isaiah. If you'd like to join me, it's on page 86. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing, bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And our second reading this morning is from uh, the Gospel of John, starting at chapter 7, verse 53, running through chapter 8, verse 11. Then each of them went home. While Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, early in the morning he came again to the temple. <clears throat> 
all the people came to him and he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, making her stand before all of them. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law of Moses, now the, in the law of Moses commanded us to stone such, a, such women. Now what do you say? They said this to test him so that they might have come to charge, they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And once again, he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go your way, and from now on, do not sin again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's say together the Apostles' Creed, found on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires and incline our hearts to keep your law. Guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the, the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The General Thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness.
to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thanks for joining me this morning. I um, hope this was meaningful to you and I hope a good way for us to check in uh, midweek. Hope you can join us on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. Uh, we do meet on Zoom, um, but we're happy to share that Zoom information with you if you'd like. Hope to see you there. God bless you. Have a great week.